Hey everyone, Wax Weirdo here again, and I have another haul, and this time it is from Salt Mountain Melts. I have been ordering from her pretty much every pre-order since I began my Salt Mountain journey. <laughs> I really like the wax, and yes, I will probably continue to buy it. But let's go, let's get into it. I got an adorable little candy bag in Country Cookies. And she had like a little, not a contest, but just a post on her page, just saying on her group page, asking people to help her name this one. So that was really cute. And the winner was Country Cookies. This contains oatmeal cookies, apple butter, and vanilla icing. We have a cute little pumpkin and a heart. Oh, and a little tombstone. Mm, and that's lovely. It is your typical apple scent. Mm, just a bright apple, not like super spicy, like a Mac apple kind of. I get a hint of a bakery note from the oatmeal cookies and the vanilla icing. But I've noticed a lot of the times with melts that have, I call these vanilla based if they're, you know, kind of that bakery. I mean, obviously that's vanilla, but those to me, a lot of the times you can't really identify on cold sniff. It's something that when you are melting it really comes out, you get that bakery goodness. Continuing on. And I got another bakery bag, this time in Booberry's Sweet Tooth, which is Booberry Cotton Candy Frosting. And I have a cute little shape here and a little house, a haunted house. And then we got, oh, a hat. Cute. Such cute colors. Mmm, that is so good. Mmm, it is just a beautiful, the blueberry fragrance, which is like a berry and blueberry note, and then just the candy deliciousness almost brings it to like a, a blue raspberry kind of, but not, mm, kind of a lighter version, like a brighter version um, of a candy like that, a hard candy. Mm. Delish. Moving on, we have Cake at the Orchard. I love this little label too. Look at that, that's so cute. This is um, an apple cider donut, birthday cake, and Bartlett pear. And we have some cute shapes. Oh, oh, I'm into this one. That is so good. Usually I'm really picky about pear, but this to me, you get kind of more of an authentic pear. If you've ever tried Destination Wax's pears, her yellow pear, her red pear, they are just unsurpassed. They're amazing. This kind of dabbles in that neighborhood, but um, yes, you get the apple, you get the pear, and you get that birthday cake, and you really get that birthday cake. So when this is gonna melt together, I'm probably just gonna be in fall heaven. Love that one. That's probably, I actually like that one better than country cookies. Okay. And then we have a hundred hungry ghost, which I believe I saw this one was fairly popular. This is pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie, and toasted marshmallow. Yum. I get the sugar cookie the most in here and maybe the sweetness of the marshmallow. The toasted part is very, very, very light and then the pumpkin pecan waffles comes in. Usually PPW is very, very strong on like the caramelly and a mapley waffle note. It kind of just like, and that salty note, bam. But to me, I get delicious sugar cookie that goes into the marshmallow and then the pumpkin con waffles. So this is 
delicious. It is not just your typical PPW scent at all, you know, where it does have other things in it, but you really just get PPW. No, this is completely opposite of that. Wow. Loving that on cold. Another little candy bag and happy holidays. This is pumpkin souffle, pie crust, vanilla milk, and marshmallow fluff. Marshmallow flufferton. Mm. To me, this smells like, um, what is that from Bath and Body Works? Like pumpkin marshmallow frosting or pump marshmallow pumpkin. That's what it smells like to me. It's got a little bit of a spice of the pumpkin and I definitely get like vanilla and marshmallowness in here. Uh, I mean, there is a little tad hint of pie crust, I must say. That's really nice. Vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still thinking about it. Okay, Golden Dusk is next in this little souffle. This is Bonfire Bliss, Palo Santo, and Leaves. Oh, that's a Palo Santo dream. Look how pretty that is. Stare at it while I sniff at the contents again. Uh-huh. Heavily Palo Santo and those um, woodsy notes for sure. Ooh, yes. And then the Bonfire Bliss and the leaves are definitely secondary, but a lovely aspect and accompaniment to the woodsy notes. Love that. I got one more souffle and then the rest are like the little shucked clams. This is Autumn Lane, which is Cider Lane, Nilla Wafers, and Butterscotch Brulee. And I get Cider Lane the most. Yep, just with a little bit of a hint of that butterscotch candy. Oh, and look at this. A pumpkin and an owl and a leaf. They're all little friends. A trio of friends on this souffle. And look at those little leaf glitter. Leaf confetti. Cute. Okay, let's move on. This is the Diamond Jubilee. Earl Grey Tea, Blackberry Scone, and Buttercream. Hmm. Hmm. This one is interesting. I get the blackberry for sure. It doesn't smell like a bakery. It just smells like a candied blackberry. And then I almost get a hint of floral from that Earl Grey tea. I like it though. I'm not a floral lover if you guys watch, but this that I like, so we'll have to see. Then we have some black magic which is Blackberry Merlot, Cedar, Amber, Sandalwood, Smoky Whiskey, Tobacco Flower, Marshmallow, and Patchouli. Quite the notes. This to me smells like shampoo. Mm hmm It smells like... Does it smell like outrageous? Hold on. Hold on. Okay, to me, did anybody ever use Revlon Outrageous Shampoo in the United States in the 90s? It was big because it was so fragranced. Oh, your hair smelled like a dream, but it got discontinued. I believe that they still make it um, because I got my hands on it later. 
but uh yeah that's what this smells like but with a little bit of added darkness from the patchouli so it is definitely a, like a shampoo I, I guess it's kind of in the floral realm but to me i wouldn't i'd say shampoo yeah let's just go with that outrageous shampoo with a hint of patchouli if you know what i'm talking about if y'all use that shampoo you tell me down below because that is us bonding and that is us having some beautiful cosmic connection that I'm all about. <laughs> this is Cheers Ghoul. Look at her. She got little boobs. Anyway, this is pumpkin, toasted coconut, caramel, clove, bourbon, maple, and toasted oak. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice too. It is definitely a fall. Scent, a hint of pumpkin, a hint of spice, and a hint of deep, dark, like woodsy notes. That's a lovely, definitely little fall blend. I would feel like that's what a cabin, a delicious cabin would smell like if you had all the wood smells in your cabin and then a pumpkin kind of spice in there. Love it. Very fall, y'all. Okay, then I have a baby. It's lukewarm outside, which is sweater weather, cranberry, and vanilla bean Noel. Woo! I'm not a big sweater weather fan, but I wanted to give this a go. Mm -hmm. There is kind of a cleanness, um, deepened woodsy slight floral i do get the tartness from the cranberry and then you know vbn's in there but it's not like it's something to detect it just kind of creams it out a little i like it it's mm, i just i'm not a big fan of sweather weather but it is beautiful blend um i can tell there is some uniqueness so i can appreciate it oh look i got a sample it's a piece of candy in sweet talk Mm. <laughs> it smells like a fizzy pop and maybe like juicy fruit. I can't remember what's in here. That's what it kind of reminds me of though. It's just like some sort of bubble gum and fizzy. Not enough fizzy. Last little shucked clam here is in flannel shirt. That looks like a flannel shirt I would actually see my husband in. He's really cute in flannels. And this is flannel and flannel sheets. Double the flannel for your pleasure. Mm -hmm. And it just smells like a laundry. A very clean laundry moving into the kind of mountain fresh range. That's the best I can do. Okay, everybody, let me know what you got from this latest pre-order. I know this is up a little bit later than I usually do. I try to get it. As soon as I get it, I try to video that same day, but life happens, okay? Okay, bye.